So the first thing you want to do is buy two yards of fabric for your baby crib sheets. Now the they should be about 42 inches wide so if you get anything bigger than that cut it down to that. Um, the two yards will be perfect length. Um, go ahead and match up all four of the corners and you can use a rotary cutter or scissors to cut out a square like I'm showing here from the corners that is 8 by 8 inches. Okay, what we're going to do after this is we're going to match up these and sew the fitted corners. And I'm going to do French seams so each corner will end up um, having you know, a nice close seam there and then on the inside there will be nothing to fray as well. After that we're going to fold over the side and then put some elastic in and we'll need about 80 inches of um, elastic and I'll show you that when we get there. To make your French seam on the corner what you'll do is you'll use the um, right side of the fabric out I know it sounds funny but this is how it's done and you're gonna match up where you cut that square you're gonna match up the two sides and if you pin it like this then you can sew right over it without worrying to pull out any pins. So this is your 8 inch side that you're just going to sew. Now make sure you sew starting at the edge of the this diagonal piece, what ends up diagonally. And you can do any width you want. You can do just the width of the um, foot. I just have my needle to the left and I'm doing that. You can do it closer if you want. Um, note though that when we flip it inside out you'll need to sew slightly bigger than what you just did to cover it up. Okay. So let me get it set. Yeah, you can just go right over the needle. And I'm trying to do it with one hand here, with a little baby eating next to me. He's happy. <laughs> okay, and you don't have to worry about back stitching yet, because this is going to get covered up. Go ahead and cut off your strings and take out your pin. Next you're going to invert the seam that you just did and you can either go for it like that, just pressing it, you could iron it. I actually put pins in it just to hold it lined up, make sure the sides line up. So you're going to sew like this. You can feel where the folded part is, you want to make sure you sew just below that so that it covers it up and hides the seam. Okay, so I'm just going to put some pins in. Okay, right, so now I've got my pins in and I'm ready to sew and I'm going to aim just a little bit wider than my last seam. So I'm doing just wider than the foot. And for this one you do want to backtrack a little at the start because the seam could come unraveled after being washed. Okay, my machine has a backtrack button. Okay, and then we're just going to go straight. And then backtrack again to end it. Okay, take out your pins, cut it, and you've got one corner done. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Peekaboo! Are you the little Ow. sewing gremlin under the table? Yeah. He tries to step on the pedal. Luckily, I've turned off the sewing yeah. machine. Where's the baby? Hi. Okay, I'm gonna work. Now, to sew the part where we will put the elastic under is just fold over the edge, and I like to take the edge that sometimes has the like this one has Joanne whatnot. You want to fold it so at least you're sewing that much over. And you're just going to sew a zigzag stitch along the edge 
that'll keep it from unraveling on the sides that aren't um, already finished. And you want to make sure you fold over enough for whatever um, safety pin you're going to push through with the elastic on it. Um, last time I didn't do it quite big enough and had to open it in a couple spots. So go ahead and measure your safety pin, see how wide it is, and then make sure that you fold over and you can be checking you know every every length or so that you push under the machine make sure you're folded over that much and you want to sew your line uh, zigzag right over the edge here. One last thing too before you uh, do your final measurement for the safety pin take into account that your zigzag stitch will cut into the fabric even just a little bit more so see here I've got it there and I'm just gonna eyeball it keeping the same distance until I get to a part where I can't eyeball it and then I will use um, my ruler and just kinda judge it right here and then hold it as it goes through and do it again okay so I'll just do a little bit for you okay. and you can see it is just and this side is kind of fuzzy on the edge, but it's just solidifying that. And then you'll leave it, when you get all the way around, you want to leave a space open so that you can push uh, the safety pin with the elastic all the way around. And like I said, it's about 80 inches. That'll give it the right tension. And then tie a knot, and then go ahead and sew this shut, and you'll be done. And here's one tip. As you fold the edge over one of your uh, French seamed corners, Remember, you're going to pass the safety pin through here. So if you sew the edge over and your corner is this way, the pin's going to catch on it, and, not be, and it's going to be harder to pass through. So fold all your corners that way, and then remember when you push your pin to go the same direction you folded. So now I've made it all the way around. I've left an opening, kind of large because I ran out of string right there, but that's fine. You tie your measure and tie cut. Sorry, your elastic about 80 inches and tie it around a safety pin and then you'll just push it through of course scrunch and then and then pull scrunch and pull all the way through and then once you get around to the other side tie the ends off and like I said sew right over the opening so here's my end product on our crib we just got this at Babies R Us with a standard crib mattress and you can see the cute design and when you flip it up how it stretches right around the corner